President Trump has made it very clear that he has a distaste for, for a strong dollar. Um, the market is taking notice. And then, you know, Thursday last week, DXY, for instance, was trying to break above that sort of top range of 95 and a half, 95.6. Um, and now we've seen it over 1% lower. So uh, what the president says does that's, that's affect the market and does affect the currency in near term. Um, longer run, uh, the dollar in terms of fundamentals is a function of um, you know, interest rate differentials. We think in that regard the Fed will still continue to hike given how solid the economy continues to perform and the prospects of higher inflation. Um, the challenge for the dollar will come probably next year when debt issuance and we see a bit of a slowdown in growth. Um, and, and then we'll probably see a bit of softness or from a fundamental perspective. But uh, near term, the dollar is under the cush given Trump's comments. Uh, later on, we'll have to see how uh, trade policy develops. Um, but near term, yeah, we wouldn't fight the, the softness in the dollar. Wouldn't fight the softness in the dollar, Rodrigo. I, I'm wondering how much of this, uh, of uh, that view, is also because of what we were talking about a couple of seconds ago, and that is. Uh, a lot of uh, local reports in Japan that the BOJ may be on the verge of, of changing policy, which is kind of code for they may they may tighten things up. Uh, I mean, the the bond market seems to think so. Bank stocks seem to think so. Do you think so? <laughs> um, well, uh, it appears that the, the I think the key message when you, when you read not only the reports that we had uh, on Friday, but other reports that have been kind of leaked over in the previous week or so. Um, there appears to be an incentive um, for the Bank of Japan to make the current easy policy measures more longer lasting. So one of them is, is to, to provide maybe potentially a tweak to the yield curve control policy, which is, as you mentioned, we've seen you know, bond yields rise and we've seen banks perform. Um, but the, the key point here is that uh, the Bank of Japan still has an inflationary problem. Inflation hasn't risen as quickly as they expect. Um, and then uh, from what we know, there's going to be a revision of the inflation outlook, and that is likely to show a downward revision to near-term at least inflation outlook. Um, and that sort of 2% target is likely to kind of be a little bit further away. So mm. um, one, one point to bear in mind here is that the long term, you know, in terms of policy measures, the Bank of Japan is still going to be the one easing well beyond others start thinking of hiking. So mm. the small tweak will be a positive potentially for the yield curve if, if they tweak it slightly. Uh, but we just need to put it into perspective that in terms of the long run, uh, they will continue to use for quite some time.